Man, that's got to be one of the fucking coolest, most hype intros to any game ever. Absolutely adore that intro. So yeah, welcome to my uh, newest playthrough, my newest let's play of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of Rulers. Wow, I just mispronounced it, did I? Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of Roses. Uh, Redux. This is a um, patched version of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of Roses, which... Uh, Changes a couple of things. Basically, it makes things like uh, grinding easier, and it overall changes the difficulty. And should also add some new mods, or maybe not new mods, but mods that do certain different things. That type of thing. This is my very first time playing this mod, so I don't know all of the little details of what's going to be new. And I know some of you watching probably will know this stuff. And you know, feel free to give me any advice or tips or tricks. I would really appreciate it. If you want to download the game, I mean, download the mod yourself and play this, I'll have a link to the dis I'll have a link to it uh, in the description below, and uh, you should definitely support the creators who made this. Uh, I'll also have a link to their stuff in the description, so go check them out, go support them, all that nice stuff. So yeah, the Duelist of Roses. You know, we all have got our stories with these type of games. I'd say my story with this game is I had this game as a child and as a child who does not speak English I, you know, got I, I got absolutely nowhere basically. I understood nothing outside the fact that I thought it was really fucking cool. I never beat the first opponent and so that was basically my experience with Duelist of Roses for majority of my childhood. And I will say, like, the game kind of sets you up for failure, like, it's not, it's pretty complicated, it's a pretty complicated game, and I can't even s say that I'm an absolute master at this game. I've actually, like, I played Duels of Roses again, like, what, three or four years ago, where I played the shit out of it, and then I haven't touched it since then, so I'm really excited to replay this game after a couple of years, and so... The disclaimer is that I'm not a master at this game, and I've heard this uh, hack can get pretty difficult. So you guys have to get, you guys have to go and drag me uh, through this game. You guys gotta have to help me with this, help me with deck building, that sort of stuff. Because I remember that in the original, I like what I remember. I was using a Thunder deck, and like I think Thunders just took incredibly high levels to get skills. So I never really bought got to any of the like the special uh, uh, monster skills in this game unfortunately the uh, what was it called like the the, the deck master sort of like the deck master skills I never really got to that point as like the grinding in this in the original these is fucking ridiculous it takes way too much time unfortunately that is something that they luckily enough fixed in this version so yeah um I'm not gonna bother reading the story here you know, you guys probably know me mostly for uh, Capsule Monsters Coliseum, where... Yeah, that game has voice acting, this one uh, doesn't, so... Uh, you're not gonna be hearing the story, I think, a whole lot, but I think most of you have come for the uh, gameplay anyways. Thank you for the fine name, right? But basically, like, it takes place in, like, old Britain. I think there's, like... I think it's, like... I think there's like a legitimate story revolving around this game what actually like happens. It's actually like based off of like history. Which is pretty cool. Soundtrack of this game is also amazing. This song is incredible, I'd say. This just song this song just gives an amazing atmosphere that like the Duel of Roses just has certain style points that I feel like almost no other game has. Yeah, I think he's now asking me to do a participation duel, a practice duel. Um, I'm not going to bother with it. Because I think it's just going to tell you like the very basic basic, which... I do know that much, at least. I will say that it's been a couple of years, so I don't remember the fusions by heart. And I, from what I've heard, there are new fusions as well. As well as I see that... You know, they have new starter decks, which they have Monster Eye, Buku, and Giant Mech Soldier. So basically, Light and Dark with Spellcasters, Dark and Earth with Machines, and Dark with Fiend. I 
think Monster Eye is cool looking. It's low level, so I think that should make it so that he has a lot of skills early on, and I'd probably like to play with those uh, deck master skills. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Monster Eye. I don't know if I've just made like the biggest mistake of my life, but we'll see. I said that the, the effect rose to sell the cards right. Also, one thing I've heard is that it's recommended to start on the side of Pegasus. I mean, the side of uh, Kaiba. Because that side's apparently easier and like... Oh, I remember. I think when I was a child, I actually took the other path. I think you have to fight against Weevil and Rex first and those guys just destroy you if you don't know the mechanics of the game. Which, as a kid, I didn't because, yeah, I couldn't speak English. Or understand it at that point, so... Oh, this is gonna go terrible, isn't it? This song is also banging, by the way. So yeah, they have a whole back and forth. About like the 16 cards you have to like defeat. They both both sides have like 8 cards, right? And like you as main character are gonna fight all 8 of the opponent, but then after that you get like a new game plus where you can fight the other 8. And that's how you get like the 16. Also, I don't know how much grinding there is to this game, so uh, I don't really... I probably... I'm unsure if I'm gonna show the grinding part of the game. So yeah, they're saying side with like the Yorkists. I think that's what, um, what we should do. I think that's what they recommend you to do, so I'm gonna do that. So we basically betrayed like the Cyber guy. It's just kind of strange because it's, I feel like I don't know, I, I guess we sided with the bad guys in some sense and the Yu Gi Oh bad guys that is. Although I feel like the game kind of pushes you to go the other side clearly because I think that is what I did as a child. Although I may have just been pressing A the whole time or X. I just got with that uh, thing naturally, so yeah. Our very first battles, I think, against Taya, uh, who is at Windsor. Windsor. Is that where the queen lives? Or isn't that her last name? Let's look. Let's look at our deck real quick because. Well, hell, I don't know. I'm assuming we just have. 39 different cards, yeah. You got Wicked Dragon with the uh, Urzat's head. Curtain of the Dark One. With... Do you have any uh, abilities yet? No, you don't have leader abilities yet. When this card is flipped, face up in battle, the opposing enemy is spellbound for one turn, so you can't use. When this card is flipped, all your monsters are transformed to zombies. Ooh, so we're using a zombie. We could use a zombie deck, I suppose. Fiend sword. Bean bird, that's not bad. That's 2,000 defense. When this card is flipped, face up, there's a chicken bakudan in an adjacent space. You have one chicken bakudan to the opponent's summoning area, but do we have chicken bakudan? Okay, Sagan doesn't have an ability. Alright, Creeper has Creeper effect, big eye. When you're trying to battle the enemy, you get enemy spellbound for one turn. Dark Prisoner has a Karibo effect. We got two of these Dark Prisoners. <gasps> we got the Drek. Red Flip this bots are off. Alright, he's like shift positions. Embryonic Beast. After being turned face up, Ryuki transform into... 
After being face up, perform with Ryu Kishi after surviving three turns in face up defense position. However, this card must be turned up by summoning by the owning player. Alright. So you get this guy in the beginning and then you get Ryu Kishi, right? You get an extra monster eye. Which face, face up, flip the last card by the opponent. Alright, that's not bad, that's nice. When this card is flipped face up, identifies an opponent's face down card. It doesn't matter which, I guess. Weather control, when this card is flipped, so all adjacent spaces to wasteland. You get the Eye of Truth, which is displays the opponent's hand for 5 seconds. Extra despair and get some power up boost. Alright, well, um. Got kind of a shit deck, I think. <laughs> Doesn't sound all that great, honestly. But I don't know how good Dea is, so. The Rose Doodles, you are there to betray the hopes of Prince Yugi. I'll teach you a lesson I'll never forget. You'll never forget, though. Sure. Yeah, part one is partly just facing her. Um, but I gotta... Oh yeah, but like that, we can... I don't even fucking know where to start. We gotta... We gotta do it's like the fusions, don't we? That's like the whole fucking day thing. The problem is that I don't remember fusions. Like, maybe this makes something, probably not. Now, now we got Key Maze. Now watch as uh, the opponent just straight up sends out like something absolutely busted. Oh yeah, I feel fucked. Uh, I don't know the fusions, I'm gonna... <laughs> it's gonna be like a disaster first episode where I'm gonna have to like learn up the fusions again. How do you put it in the fence? Well, I think I already used my fucking turn. God damn it. Um. Yeah. Use you in uh, the fence mode. Yeah, this might be like the pilot episode of me fucking around and getting absolutely stomped. Let's put you in the fence, just like, you know, to get what you, uh... Did these guys make anything? No. Go over here, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty troublesome that I don't know the fusions. That's like a big fucking deal. But I mean, I guess you're in defense mode, so like... Nothing is lost, right? Except for the monster itself. Also, it seems like we get... What, three per turn? I don't know, maybe we should just like wait a turn to be able to summon the, the queen bird. Alright, dark oh fucking hell, let's He's got dark she got dark witch. And the animations of this game, I haven't talked about that yet. You know the animations of this game are they're actually pretty good. The only thing I will say is that it's a little awkward that they have absolutely no uh, sound to them. <laughs> I also don't remember what button it is to just turn the, the animation off. But she is spellbound now. Let's go. Change of hearts. So what you're gonna do is. 
Oh, she could just take my card and then uh, attack my. Uh... I'm assuming she can now just straight up attack my uh, deck master, right? Well, it's only 600, so it's not a big deal. Oh, I bought now my monster again. Right, well, logic would say that you get dark rich by making dark and light together, but we need to have that. Um, does this do anything? Hey, it does! It makes Komori Dragon. Well, Oh, you get a throwing bonus on there. Doesn't the dragon get a throwing bonus on mountains? I'm actually not sure about that. Okay, she gave something a power increase. I think I'm just gonna back up my uh... Ooh, maybe I can just yeah put this guy up here and then I think it said that he had to be face up for three turns well sure right why not I guess you stay like this? It's been a while. I remember that it's always kind of a struggle uh, until you get like decent cards. Also, they can hit you twice when they're on the thing. Ooh, but it's in the graveyard, which I think actually um, weakened here. Oh, I accidentally turned turbo on. Oh, well, so I clicked some button which skipped it. doesn't get a buff there and that's a shame Do you have anything fiend I think doing it this way is the correct way. Um, oh, it does power him up to uh, 1600, which I don't know if Fiend actually even gets you buff on Wasteland, so. Yeah, these are like the little things that I've forgotten over the past years, which it's gonna take a couple episodes, but I'll remember it at some point. that button all right I've got the button I know the skip button now but she is spellbound now for turn while she's slowly you know coming over to fucking kill me on other sides well that's unfortunate Fiends apparently don't get a buff on a uh, fucking wasteland, which leaves me kind of out of uh, options. We've been putting the defense pretty quickly. 
Yeah, the horrible thing is I have no clue how strong his monsters are. Or her monsters. Like, for all instance, she's got fucking Ryoku over here and just can fucking destroy us. Fucking 50 to 100 life points recovery, goddamn. Well, at least we got Ryokishin powered. Oh no, we got Ryokishin. We got Ryokishin. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> That's a real fucking shame, isn't it? And here I am thinking, ah, oh, we're getting a uh, big uh, Papa Pickle. But no. We ain't getting shit. Does this do anything, Fiend on Fiend? No, nope. you just fucking throw that thing away. I want to place you here. Um, yeah, I realize you can't even do anything over here. We're stuck, we're probably gonna lose this, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to look up some things before the next episode. But yeah, um... Tips and tricks would be greatly appreciated because I think I need it. Um, seems like he doesn't really want to take into my guys. Insect. I'm just gonna get rid of that thing. I guess we'll use the Eye of Truth. Tenderness, Glengal, and some buffing. I think the Trumpet guy, I think, is also a buff card? Yeah, uh, Ornimp, uh, rest in peace. But hey, it's Spellbound. And that thing can move twice, and that's a Skelang over 1400. We haven't seen a Skelangle's animation, so I guess I'll show that one. Also, Skelang was Japanese design, yeah, and they just, in this ROM hack, they decided to make a, uh, well, it's not a ROM hack, I guess it's a patch. They gave it the Japanese art work and the Japanese um, character models. Um, I think that's another life hole. Oh. What does that do? Uh, strengthens all fairy ones by 600! The fuck? You also use this to increase by 500. That's some bull crap. So now it's strong enough to, of course, fuck kill me. Skelangle now is 2500. I feel like we may be a bit fucked. Maybe I'm gonna I'm just do this, right? I mean, there's not much I can do. I think we're gonna horribly lose this match. It's got 2500, but I think it will go to 2000. On that spot, Karibo. 
Maybe they do something together. No, they don't. Is this, is this just a bad deck or something? <laughs> or am I just not getting the synergy? Maybe should have gone for Giant Max on it. Well, Rip Bird, you're dead as well. Uh, unless I pull something incredible out of my ass here, um, I'm probably dead. This is like a heart of the cards kind of moment here. Just as hard we've been given. That's, that's just to write something, right? No, nothing, nothing, and nothing. This is gonna be a problem. This is horrible. We got absolutely destroyed. It's spellbound for one more turn. I guess we have a lot of spellbound. Alright, well. Uh, sure. Yeah, just do that as well, just to add insult to injury. We need to somehow come up with something that is more than 2400. Put you in defense and... Um, we actually got like a legitimately pretty strong monster there. Yeah, I'll face a monster... Are we... Oh, that's probably... That probably would have been helpful. And suddenly now we get like a bunch of strong monsters. Um, yeah, I think if we'd had... Uh, what's it called? Uh, before? We could have gotten them on the zombie tile. So, uh... I guess you kill him if you're over here. We can do like the tiniest bit of damage back. Alright, he fuses probably to get another Dark Witch. Alright, I'm getting it a bit more now. beam and see my guys like yeah ain't gonna do jack shit so he's dead all right well we got rid of one of his monsters but now he's just gonna like zoom up with one of his ultra monsters to kill me yep just like that Oh god, he's got Orion the Battle King. It's like a hieroglyph. Well, whatever it is, it is dead. But it is spellbound. Hey, it's, it's something, the tiny victories, it's the little victories that matter.
Morphin Joe doesn't even do anything. They don't. Well, we've stalled out for a little bit. He's got 18 cards left, but uh, we're not gonna get shit to finish this off. I think 2400 is like the number to beat. The spellbound, we've been able to just keep these guys in place though. I suppose that's the fundament of this deck, that it's got a bunch of spellbounding shit. But without any fusions, I don't really see what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Bioplan, I guess, is not the option. <laughs> oh. The fucking ends we already there. I was able to kill one monster. Oh, now we get access to spare. Increase the power by 500. I mean, it's not even enough. Yeah, we got that guy still. <laughs> that guy was there, I guess. Ryu Kishin. Man, I thought it was gonna be real kitchen powered, but I guess I guess not. That feeling of I'm being able to infinitely stall her is pretty amazing. Oh, terrible, the terrible. Oh, this is terrible. Is this it? You don't have to pause every button game. Well, I get that like heart of the cards moment. Because I need it right now. That's not enough. Machine, warrior, and beast. Beast, warrior, and fiend. Let's just summon them all to see what the hell we get. They don't fuse, they don't fuse, they don't fuse. Well. That's... That's game, right? Uh, 2400 and now we have 380 left. Okay, you gotta actually click that guy gone for whatever reason. Um. Maybe that's a spellcaster. Aqua. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving up. Fuck it. Mm. 
in this jet. You gotta have to, you're dragging this out as long as you possibly can. I know I'm not helping either, but... Alright, we lost the first game. I definitely need some tips. Because that was awful. Is this going to be like 5 down reincarnation <laughs> hope for a good card? It's just going to be like that, isn't it? Huh, I'm greater than I thought I was. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, ending the episode off here. I'm going to try and look some stuff up about the fusions. I'm going to try to like look up the fusion list for this game and then uh, hopefully we have a better shot next time. But, well, this could be like trouble. I could be sitting here for four hours and still not be there. But, yeah, this is going to be a journey. See you guys next time. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye!